Oh. We're here at the TV Line Comic Con suite with the cast of Fear the Walking Dead. Dayton, you're, you're dead. What are you doing here? I have no idea. They just dragged my body around. What are you doing? Arms all folded. Oh. <laughs> just, uh, I'll, I'll tell you why, why Dayton's here, even though, even though he's dead. I think we all thought you did such an exceptional, amazing job yeah. that we wanted to be able to talk about it mm. uh, and talk about you. Well, so that's, that's the reason. Thank you. Well, so true. And you part of the family. Like that? We did. Family. We we all my dad. Yeah, that's that's like, exactly what Frank went So we bring our corpses with us. Are there any major losses in the second half of the season along the lines? I just figured I'd dive right no one, yeah. no, no one is safe in the apocalypse. Yeah. 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 Like How bloody seconds. does it get in the second half of the season? It gets really bloody, uh, actually. Yeah. 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 I know, it, it's, it's, so it, gets, it gets darker and bloodier than I think we've, we've seen the show before. You were separated from most of the regulars for the, for the yeah. first part of the season. What was that like? That was um, terrible. Terrible because I missed these guys I know, so much. We you. No, but it was it was weird. It was weird. I felt like I was on my own show. It was like I was you know, and then I would meet up with like you know Ruben oh, every so often, and, and then you know his own show. I was I was I was, I was, I was, I was on my own spinoff. This friend basically. You got your hair cut this this season. Was that a, more of a relief to you or the rest of the cast? <laughs> Yeah, I think I, I couldn't believe really I wanted it cut at the end, didn't I? I was, yes, it was did. getting annoying. It was getting really <laughs> long and dread lucky, so. Yeah. yeah. Nice to cut. Mm -hmm. We were all excited. We were counting down we the days. We were excited. I was the one in the scene with him, so I was taking oh, yeah. pictures and sending it around to yeah. the cast. And he, I think you said, well, there's a boy in there. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just thought he looked so much more beautiful. I didn't know it was possible. But what was fun about that scene was. Just to do something like that in the scene, which mm, is mm. for Frank in his life, I don't think he'd had a haircut in how no. many years? Yeah, like ten years. Or ten years. Well, and so then, probably, yeah. <laughs> it's funny though. The first line after I have my haircut, Kim has to say, uh, "What are you look like? You how do I how, how do I look?" And Kim has to say, "Look like a man." But <laughs> she we, said, we, we, you I did a lot of different versions. Transitioning. What's one of your versions? Give us one You look like a man transitioning to be a woman. <laughs> Yes! You look like a girl. You look like a... What was the other one? Yeah. Uh, you look like direction. a teen idol. <laughs> you look... We, 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 we trimmed out that line for that very reason. Yeah, because yeah. you look like a man. Just, you look like a younger person. It became a look That's between so you. Funny. Yeah. <laughs> Which is nice. Man. The it's look is shirt. nice. Yes, look but he cut his hair just right before the scene. He just went in the hair and makeup trailer with like... No, it was like no big deal, but he yeah. hadn't cut his hair in 10 years and just let them cut it off, and it was... Wow, that's pretty. That's, that's right. Pretty awesome. 10 years, does that's true. Now? Does it feel great? It feels fine. I think you yeah. need another haircut. Are you guys done shooting for this season? Yes. Yeah, we just wrapped. Um, and Dave, you're stepping down. You're moving on after this season. Is that yeah. correct? Uh, that is correct. Uh, that's a bummer. Uh, um, uh, <laughs> what can you say about where, where, in what place you leave these, these characters um, before you move on? We wanted to build a sort of a, you know, not to give anything away, but there's a bit of a catastrophe by the end of the season. You know, and it'll have a huge impact on every one of the every one of the characters. So, it was really my goal was to make things as hard as humanly possible for the new showrunners. So now that's a joke. I think that's a joke. No, but bring out the claws. <laughs> that's a joke. But the um, no, I, I think. The intention this season was I really feel like we we found our rhythm, you know, and I think I'm really proud of the work everyone did, everyone here did, and I think that the show, you know, I think we sort of reached a point of critical mass going into the season, so I'm just, the intention was to leave, to do as strong a season as we possibly could, and then I'll go off and do whatever I do. Just coming full circle here, so who's dying in the second half of the season? <laughs> <laughs> Should we just raise our hands, or yeah. how does that? Do you feel the on edge still at this point, like wondering the next script or yeah. the next phone call from sure. the producers yeah. to come meet with you? That that could be yeah. it. Anytime Dave calls me, I take a, a little while to call him take, back. I'm take like, a few uh, minutes, a deep breath. Yeah. It's going to be Show okay. It's yeah. okay. I'm like, the only one that's relaxed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> personal. It'll be all right. Yeah. Hey, Dave, just returning your call. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like that's weeks okay. later. Call me back next year. It's no big deal. Yeah. I think as a as a as a fan of the show, you know. That's what makes. You're on the uh, show. Yeah. I know, You're but I'm a fan now. of the show. At the same time, <laughs> each script, it's, it's. We don't actually know what's going to happen, mm -hmm. and I think for the audience, that's raised the stakes completely because you know after after episode two, anything can go. Mm 